Sorry. Oh yeah, no worries. Right, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna reconnect, check what's going on with my... Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm just gonna skid a bunch of logs, so it's all good. No worries, man. So Jordan, for you, since everybody, you know, confuses your FDR with our president. Um, <laughs> found an I'm actually, here. I'm actually in the. Uh, it was always my goal that I laughed at my own funny goal is when you search FDR on YouTube. I'm now in the the front results with him with the president, so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> well, this is a uh, this article is about they they rank the um, uh, president's of all time. He's number three according to the stuff oh. that you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, I didn't uh, pick those initials on purpose. That's just how it ended up being. But I probably would have gone with something a little less famous. So I would have taken over well, those like initials. Well, like you said, when you were originally... Oh. You cut out there. Right. You, you cut said out. it was first Sorry. day reviews. Yeah, right. Yeah, first day reviews. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I didn't pick the FDR on purpose. That's just the way it ended up being. Out of respect for the goods, you know? Oh, I love the look of those nasty looking blades on there. Thank God for substance painter. That's all I have to say for these textures. Just change the whole freaking world. I'm going to go bring these in right after he cuts that. And we're going to shuffle these right in the deck here. Oh, sorry, buddy. That's my bad. Touched Sorry. for the very first time. <laughs> uh, Here, I'll sneak out this way. Oop. Jordan, you said you're not recording at the moment. Uh, no, I am now. Yeah. Oh, you're back to recording. Okay. It's okay. You can say bad things about me. I won't hurt my feelings. No, they, I was they just they abuse me when I'm not recording. <laughs> no, it was just the the back to the swift thing. The, the oh, I don't care. You can talk people. about crappy swift drivers jesus don't hurt my feelings man oh it, it, some guys say see what i fucked up today <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what yeah <laughs> that's actually a perfect that's actually a perfect abbreviation for that name that's so funny yeah and, yeah like you said <laughs> they're, they're some of the worst drivers out there i believe it <clears throat> i 100 percent believe it oh that's funny i think I think it doesn't matter where you go in the world, you're going to run into groups like that. We have groups up here that are definitely really bad. Yeah, somehow on my YouTube, from watching stuff, I end up with this gal. She uh, drives over in Sweden, and she had runs a dash cab, and she put up a couple of videos, and some of the stuff, I'm like, we have that here. And people <laughs> yeah. comment, they're like, yeah, it happens all over the world. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Humans are equally bad drivers everywhere you go. I don't think anyone's got, like, the, the cream of the crop. No. Maybe Thailand, actually. It's pretty sketchy over there, but... They got a lot of mopeds, from what yeah. I understand. Yeah, a lot of mopeds. Moped city. <laughs> oh, really? You can't win. You can't win, no matter where you go. I'm trying to run the skitter in first person now. It's interesting. It's actually easier... <laughs> Oh, no worries, yeah. Come on back, son. That's okay. Oh, that's not time lapse, right? I don't yeah, no, it's totally fine. Watch these the are, no, the, yeah, these are not like time lapse, but that's cool. I don't want to do time lapse anymore. I don't mind time lapse, but I'd have to do it in a way more complicated way if I wanted to make it actually good. Oh, I find that the footage we were making was pretty awesome. Yeah, it was fun, like but, like, I would love to be able to, I don't know, maybe... Do stuff? Yeah. But, like, record it from, like, another another computer or something, then it would be more fun. Like, if you want, I can record when you're doing that, but then you expect... You expect yeah, I, I've had people offer, but the problem is, like, I record in such high-quality uh, yeah. file sizes, like, that sending it to me is just not something that can work. Like, my smallest file size of upload is, like, 50 gigs, so... Yeah, so it's not something you can just be like, oh, I'll just upload that in 15 minutes, you know, like, well, for most people, anyway. For your, for your videos, Jordan? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's big. It's because I, I don't do any, uh, I don't do any after compression or anything to him at all. 
I just All do right, these guys, hard right. recordings and shoot them so I don't have to spend a whole bunch of time editing that I don't have. I do edit some of them because it's fun, but because the, f the format's such high resolution, too, it's really hard to edit it. No programs are quite good enough for that yet. And they have to do yeah. proxy files and blah, 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 and it just takes so long to edit such a tiny video, and it's like, ah, oh, this is annoying. I'm hoping somebody eventually comes out with, like, a really awesome program that just treats 4K as if it was, like, 360p quality so that you can really edit it, but even with proxy files, I find it doesn't work super well. Yeah, 4K's 4K. awful. 4K's awful. Well, even this, this isn't, like, 4K, oh, yeah. it's at 1440 by whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her... No, but your videos are very good quality, man. Yeah, it's no, like, and that's why yeah, I've just been kind of leaving it alone, because I don't want to play with it anymore. I'm pretty no, happy honestly, with it. There's no need. I mean, the quality is so great that why? why yeah, know? why? Why edit it? Why change it? I mean, I would love and to be able to edit them a little cool. more, just for my own. Like, I like to edit things, but yeah. it's all good. No, no, you got very good. Quality. How's this gonna work? Let's just go like that. Like my. Download is 450 megabytes and upload is like 60, so I don't understand why. Just doesn't love you like it used to, huh? I think I've been away for too long. It's <laughs> <laughs> alright. As it starts to warm up, it'll remember who you are and then it'll get better quality. I think that's how the internet works. Oh, no, well, there's something else I was supposed to fix on a forwarder, I think. Something to do with the axles or something? Somebody pointed out? I don't know who pointed that out. Somebody in the chat. I gotta look at that. I got the delimmer almost working today, but I'm hitting some kind of really weird friggin' issue that I've never seen before, so. A delimmer. I thought you gave up. Uh, one year, whenever I figure out how to fix the damn thing. It's all working, except I cannot turn the cab. It will not turn. Even though it's set up exactly like everything else, it's hitting a Lua error, and I'd never in a million years seen it before, so I gotta go through every code and find out what's going on there. Something's not right. Okay, here's a real question. Where are you gonna get with the program and get the helicopter? <laughs> I know, I want it. I've talked um, to three different Lua guys about getting that script, and none of them have. One well, of them attempted it, the other two just said, no, I can't do it. And I was like, alright. I saw on another you. Discord, I mean, somebody said something about. Yeah. There's a chopper coming, but yeah, yeah. that's all. Yeah, I keep hearing that. I've been yeah. hearing that for like seven months, and I'm just like, no, there isn't. There's like scripts that do automated choppers that just kind of like free fly on their own, kind of, but they don't like actually fly. You can't control them; they're just scripted. But those don't really yes. count. You can't do anything with those. So I don't know. Oh, okay, when so it comes well. out, I have a chopper sitting there ready. Like it's a hundred percent built. So all I need to do is basically just apply the script and it's good to go. But um, we're not there yet, I guess. Not yet. Well, if we had the money, you know, we could put out, you know, this is how much money we're going to give you to fix it. Yeah, I, I, I actually did that. I offered uh, I offered money to a couple of Lua guys to see if they could work on it. And the two Lua guys that I do know don't know how to make it work. And then the one guy I definitely know knows how to do it says he doesn't think it's possible but i think oh, he's no. i think he's wrong no offense to him but <laughs> if it worked in the other game it can definitely work in this game because the variables are there i just don't know how to line them up because i don't know lua coding i tried to learn it and get into it a little bit but there's so much there that i don't understand i don't have the time to learn an entirely new subject i learned so texturing i thought that was hard enough <laughs> so why can't you convert it uses a uh, like the old ones all set up, but the new game uses a whole bunch of new parameters. Like it's the same type of parameters, but they've changed all the names. But there's nowhere in the game that references what those parameters are called. So I have no idea what they're called in this game compared to 17. So you go in and you basically just have to change about 50 different things that point to different things. But they all have new names, and I don't know what I don't know what those variables are called. So for instance, you'll have like Parameter uh, levitator script references Lua script one three six six blah 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 blah, and there's a whole bunch of different entries that say that. But now the problem is I don't know what 
the reference point is. Like, I don't know what they call it. Like, is it Lewis Script Reference Point two six six five seven seven eight? Like, I can't sit here and just guess numbers all day. Like, you never, you'll never figure it out doing that. So I don't, uh, I don't have a clue where to even begin. That's why I've uh, talked to a couple of Lua guys and said, "Hey, do you know how to maybe change this over?" But even them, most of them are like, "Well, what are the new ones called?" And I'm like, "I don't know." And they're like, "Well, without that information, I don't know what you can do." So, unless Giants gives it out or something, but I went and looked through all their scripting guides and all their Lua guides, and nothing really points to an easy way to do it. You can always like see if you can email them and be like, "Hey, you know, I'm a you know, looking like this." That Who's that? Oh, Giants? Yeah. They actually contacted me recently. Asking me to put my mods on Mod Hub. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it didn't go so well. <laughs> uh oh. Did you go, I use a bunch of third party scripts? <laughs> yeah, I said I said most of my stuff, there's no way. Because um, I told him, I told the guy, uh, his name's Chris, and I, I told him, I said, uh, you know, like, in order to get my stuff on console, like, the weights are way higher, the grapples are different, like, basically everything outlined from that video that I put out, the five reasons. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, well, just uh, just submit it as PC only and we can take a look, because they want it on Mod Hub, right? But unfortunately, I tried working with the testers on a couple mods, and they're like, no, you have to turn the weights down. So I looked at every possible way to bring the weights down to, like, a level that's still haulable. But even, even the in-game Scorpion can barely get hauled up by most of the damn machines anyway. So I have to make it the minimal highest weight has to be equivalent to the Scorpion, which is only 16,000 pounds or whatever those units of measurement are. But my machines are 90,000 a piece because that's what keeps them so easy to move the trees around. So if I want to drop it down to 16, like the machines just flop around. I can I can pick up maybe like 3 five meter logs at one time and then it starts to tip over and I'm like that is so dumb like I can't do it but they said yeah the only way they're getting on there is if I do that and they also don't want these textures they want me to use UDIM and I think UDIM looks stupid so I'm not doing it I tried I, tr I made a couple that were UDIM just to compare and like on some small details like if you're doing bolts or if you're doing panels, you know, like little tiny things or like meshes, it looks fine because there's not a lot of detail in that stuff. So you can make them a flat color like black or gray or something. And then the vehicle shader and the normal map usually kind of clean it up a bit. But like that buncher head, for instance, is a prime example. All those little, like the, the rust and the scratches and all that stuff. Um, if I go UDIM, all that's gone. It's going to be completely solid red. And um, you can make it so that little scratches and stuff show up over time with the the wear factor but they're only chrome you can't add rust you can't add like color variation you can't do any of that so it looks really hokey and i was just like ugh, i really like them the way they are and they're not causing performance issues so why would i change it so but everything's everything's aimed for console right that's their entire goal is to get it perfect performance for console so whether I'm submitting for PC or whether I'm submitting for console, they want it to be that high level of UDIM performance. But the problem is, on a console, most consoles um, don't have anywhere near the threading or performance of a PC, at least not yet. I'm sure they'll get better as time moves on, but even the most recent Xbox Ones and PlayStation 4s, PlayStation 4 Pro even, um, the threading and the graphics are nowhere near in comparison to what you can pull off on a computer. Like, not in a million years. So... The way it looks now, uh, I don't know if you keep up with Xbox and all that. Yeah. It's completely personal. Uh, Xbox is actually looking to make kind of like the, the ultimate in-between to where like you could install Steam actually play, you know. Yeah, but why not just buy a computer at that point? Like, <laughs> well, that's the part that drives me nuts. It's like, it that is a computer. If you want to make it so it does all that stuff, just buy a computer, man. Like, why? Why some, bother? Some, some well, guys can't change. Yeah. Everybody, some people just want to do console. And I'm, and again, like, I can't emphasize enough, like, I'm not, I'm not 
dissing console people. I'm not saying like, ah, oh, the only reason I'm not doing this is because consoles are stupid. If it was an easy thing, I would just do it because I don't, you know, I I want the marketing, I want the attention, I want more fans and more followers. I really do, but um, yeah, it's a challenge. Like, uh, and not in a good way. It's a it's like a downgrade to the equipment, and I don't want that. If I knew I could get the exact same results of what I'm having right now in the server that we're playing on console, but I only had to change a few variables here and there to get that experience, and it was not performance affecting and it wasn't functionality affecting, I'd, I'd do it in a heartbeat. But they refused to accept my new system that I've basically spent all this time putting together. And that's fine. I don't blame them. That's their game and their call and whatever they want to do, that's up to them, but... As long as I'm running my ship, it's going to go the way I want it. Because I spent a lot of time making it this way. <laughs> I think that makes sense, does it not? I think. I don't know. A lot of trees. Lots of trees. We've got another big load coming up the landing here, so I should keep you guys entertained for a bit. Jordan, when you get a second, check your email. I just sent you an email. Oh, sweet. Will do. I'll probably do it after this episode. Oops. Oh, my God. See, I look away for one second, and my skitter almost did a backflip. <laughs> what am I hung up on? I must be hung up on something real good here. What is happening here? What could I possibly be hung up on that's causing this kind of destruction? This? Gosh. Nope. Is it like a stump? Must be hitting a stump somewhere. Stump. You won money. Is that a classic names nope. that I keep hearing? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Not me, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was you won money or something. No, I got to work during money yet. <laughs> yeah, right. Hate that part. What could I possibly be hung up on? Oh, okay. There we go. It's free. Whatever it was hung up on seems to be good now. Must have been a stump or something. I was playing a game with Delta, Jordan. Uh, yeah. Chad there a while back. And subject of pay come up and I said you don't want to know what I get paid all <laughs> Delta said was shut up <laughs> yeah. yeah accurate where's that guy I haven't seen him in a while I hate to be this one I've been busy oh yeah what's that I'm still rap, rap to slow down he's about to kill me oh that's good he's got to keep you on your toes someone's got to do it uh, we're also going to need a uh, fuel truck, because my fuel's on six. Oh, yeah, geez, I'm only at, like, a quarter tank, too. You guys, any of you farm managers can buy one, bring it up? I mean, I have two percent. Anyone? I don't think anybody is a farm manager, are you? Oops, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, you guys are pretty much all farm managers. Dumb. One of you can buy a fuel truck, because I am mid-skid. Buy a fuel truck, drive it up here, fill it up with gas, or corn, or whatever you need to. Fill it with corn. Can't go wrong with corn. Uh, I sure you can do that. You just have to go into this you ready for another skid here, TJ? I'm going to put it right where that one is. Oh, I'll feel fast with the people at the landing. I'm bringing a massive one there. Nice. I'm going to start processing on that other side where you're dropping them, I think. And I'm actually going to slip right through the middle here. Probably a good idea. Actually, TJ, I'll let you grab that little tree because I'm going to definitely knock it out of here. 100%. Oh, yeah, no worries. I just know I'm going to hit it, and then it's going to push forward, and it'll knock out your beautiful pile. What's that? I'm going to join in one last time. That's one over here. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. That's the ticket. Right there. And I'm just gonna kinda half scoop. I might wipe out this tree, but that's alright. That's life. Taking this one little stick with me. You're my new friend. Alright. 
I'm gonna start processing that side there, hopefully. <laughs> Nailed it. What's that? It's okay if I join one. Oh yeah, of course. Anytime. Not gonna hurt my feelings. Sorry about that. Oh, it's all good. Hold on, don't start yet. Don't start yet, Jordan. Why? Are you gonna wipe some stuff out? Oh, you're gonna push it? Gotcha. That's good. I'm actually gonna do some delimbing here. Oh, this one's backwards. It's trying to mess me, mess me up, man. Wow, I've never seen the chainsaw do that before. It's like grrr. must have hit a hard part of the log. Yeah, that's better. All in one spot. Thank you, sir. Except for that one. That one decided to go for a spin. Oh, I see. Uh, hold on a sec here. I see what's going on. This piece right here is the problem. This right there. Oop. Here, I'll, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll fix this. You can go back. It's all good. It's just this one okay. here. Well, I kind of need to wait for the fuel truck. Oh, perfect. Park um, it. Chill mode. Out. Smoke mode. Hey, rap. You might want to just, just stop bunching for a second. Because if you don't, we're going to have problems. Uh, I don't have that much tree uh, down there. Oh, it's all good. You can keep going. It'll be fine. Eh, yeah, well, screw it. I'm just well, well. the trailer. I will be there in... Come on, now. Hurry up, now. I ain't got time to set her wet all day on you. <laughs> it's synced and I say. Apparently he has I'm places to be. I don't care. Go faster. Keep <laughs> going. I don't care if it's synchronizing or what. I'm very, very <laughs> Can you imagine if actually saying that made the server go faster? Man, there'd be some angry players out there. <laughs> I'd be so proud. You guys make the 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 I'd be yelling the nastiest yeah. things at the server if that were the case. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try to grab this tree all by its lonesome. There we go. That'll fix it. Let's test this one more time. I don't think you'll see much improvement in this round because holy cow, even I'm starting to lag here. We got a lot of trees oh. at this landing. I don't know why I was thinking, I just kept driving up with 1%. I'm going to try to make it. If not, the field truck will come to me. Oh, my way. Oh, yeah, no, it's good. Oh, yeah, there you go. Could just be the server, too, or something like connecting to that giant server. Could it be because I was doing some multiplayer before that one, and, you know? I don't know. Honestly, I'm not a specialist when it comes to networks in this case. This is well, a... FDR, I hate to uh, be this way. Pardon me. But why in the world do the tires on the skidder shine? That's why called the vehicle shine? shader. That's the beautiful joy of the Giants vehicle shader. Creates kind of a bubbly effect. If you want to add a normal map, which is the thing that causes all the little dints and bangs in the metal, um, you have to apply the vehicle shader, and the vehicle shader creates this beautiful ambient bubble wrappy glow around everything. But unfortunately, that's just the way the shader is. The best shader I've ever seen was the one in The Division, the video game The Division. Oh, so nice. Everything just looks really good. As a modder, when I go play games now, I just, I like, zoom in on, like, I'll look at maps, I'll look at forests, I'll look at equipment, and I just look at the way shaders are applied and textures, and I just drool over some things. Have you seen only Division 1 or 2? Uh, it was just the first, I think it was the first one. Oh. I imagine the second one's even better, the though. The second one is a lot better. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. I love the first one. The best game I ever played looking at forests was Far Cry uh, 5, the newest one. Those forests mm -hmm. in that game, oh my god. If I could cre recreate those in uh, Farming Simulator. But, well, I mean, you'd need to use the Unreal Engine or something to get that kind of graphics. But just absolutely gorgeous. Have you played Red Dead 2 at all? 
Oh yeah, that's another good one. That's a good example. Bring the fuel truck Which, to the yeah. right now, because I ran out at the top of the mountain. I thought you were going to park oh. down here, silly pants. <laughs> he was being impatient. I see that. Well, I told Sorry, him to Chris is coming to save you. Chris is going to save him. I'll make it to the very top hey, Chris, of the you put gas in that, right? <laughs> Before you left? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just making did sure. You really forget to put gas in the gas tanker. Hey, I'm just asking. I don't know if you did or not. Because I've done that lots where I buy it and then I just drive away with it and I'm like, oh damn yeah, it, I actually have to go put fuel place. in it. <laughs> I've got a, uh, I've got a skidder that's gonna have a fuel tank on it here pretty soon. Oh really? Yeah. Nice. I'm just deciding whether I want to make it so. It's either, well, I have a theory. I was thinking about making a, a skitter that has um, attachable different things. So you could put the grapple skitter on it. You could put the a fuel tank on it. You could put the winch on it. Something that you could change them out, but I just haven't quite got around to doing it yet. What am I hitting? Oh, oh, there's a vehicle here. Does that actually exist in real life, or yep. is just... Oh, not, oh, not one that interchanges, but I mean, technically you can unbolt and bolt whatever you want onto any of these machines if you wanted to. I've seen some pretty funky combinations in real life. Yeah, on your Discord, I've seen things that I what, like, what the heck? You yeah. Got everything in just one machine. Oh, yeah. There's some... Everything, literally everything. Some funky stuff. Is that good uh, where I'm placing them? Oh, this is fine, yeah. I'm just going to clean this up. Hey, uh, Ethan, when you bring down the next stuff, instead of lying it on this bank over here, just go up a little bit past where that skitter's parked ahead of me and just drop it there on that side. Just because it's all downhill. This side is getting hung up on this hill a little bit when I'm processing it. Yeah, he messes everything up. Tell me that again when I get back down yeah. there. Just let me know when you're down that. here or approaching. Well, I'm currently waiting for the fuel truck. It's coming, I think. Some moron forgot to put fuel I saw Chris go whipping by, so I think he's up there somewhere on his way. No, nah, he's back at the shop because he forgot to... Oh, you actually put didn't put fuel, fuel in it? <laughs> I was making no. a joke. <laughs> but How do you forget to put fuel in Oh, dude, I've done it so many times. I just assume it has fuel. I don't know why. It's like going fishing without a fishing rod. Yeah, right. But I can't, I can't fault him because I've done it lots. It's an easy thing to forget. Probably because everything in this game is usually already set up and ready to go when you buy stuff, so I don't even think about it. Eh, there we go. Can you imagine if every time you bought a new machine you had to go put fuel in it before you could drive it? <laughs> oh, that's yeah. really bad. Yeah, that would be unfortunate. That's kind of how it feels with the fuel trailer. I think if you buy it, you should have the option to have it full for more money. That'd be cool. Yeah. On a flying tree. Oh, no. Another one. Yep. Those those well, are those are becoming pretty popular. They're real species. <laughs> I actually lived at the lab to say I didn't have fuel, but I had to have a drive all the way to the top. Then realize it. I've been so pissed off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Easy to do. Then I think uh, I think we're gonna switch and go back to doing uh, some long long stuff again here pretty quick. Shorts are fun, but they make one heck of a mess. And everybody desyncs, unfortunately. Uh, not mine. Uh, oops! There goes that log. No rush, Chris, no rush. Double time. Just kidding, those fuel tanks are the slowest filling things in this game. You're getting paid by the hour. Yeah, I was gonna say. If you're a union worker, those fuel pumps are the best job in this game. <laughs> yeah, for real. They're so brutally slow. Uh, oh, well, that's, 
Whatever. That's just my a... brother-in-law when he uh, tanks up his boat, it yeah. takes like two hours to fill it up. Oh. And the worst part is that the the employees they charge like seventy bucks an hour or something. So wow. On top of him fueling up your uh, boat, you gotta give him a tip, you know. <laughs> so it's like yeah, it takes him like two hours to fuel it up. Man, oh man, I was freaking out. Yeah, that gets expensive. I bet. Oh yeah, I like two thousand dollars of fuel. Jeez. That's crazy. Is that for like commercial though, or? No, no, no. It's just, just for uh, pleasure. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, boats are an expensive yes, game. Yeah, since the fuel went up, there was a lot of people that started selling their their boats because it was like. Oh, I believe it. There's a reason why they turn that turn it up. They want people to go electric. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Is there much uh, much in the way of electric boats? Is that a thing? I've never Not heard yet. of them. Not yet. No. I don't think it's powerful enough. I think oh. you'd have to have like... I think what'll happen first is we'll start seeing a lot more electric with gas backup. Just for emergencies and failure. But and then as things get better. Car? What's that? Would you ever buy an electric car? Actually, my last vehicle I owned was a, a hybrid. It was a ta or a Yukon, a GMC Yukon, and it was like a little looked like one of those police SUVs. And and it, it was all right. I mean, it was. I didn't think it was super fantastic on fuel or anything, but it was, you know, part electric, and it seemed to be okay. I used it in like you know minus twenty thirty weather, and it never had a problem. But it was also primarily gas, so yeah. I don't know about a full electric vehicle. Yeah, like. Tesla. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't... I can't... Like, I don't know enough about it. I can't knock it either way. But I, I would try one. I don't know if I'd buy one right off the bat, because I am definitely do like my gas vehicles. But um, if they came up with a really compelling, good, you know, electric truck or SUV that was awesome, I'd probably go oh, for it. I'm pretty sure it's coming up. Like, oh, yeah. They'll, they, they are coming. Years. Well, they say I mean, we're going to... Like, the, the prediction is we're going to be out of fossil fuels, like we'll be completely dry in 50 years. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. yeah, we yeah, have to do real. something. I don't, believe, I don't believe in that. You don't think so? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they base it off of, but that's just what I've read everywhere. And I'm like, well, I mean, I, it's know. possible. I mean, I don't, I don't believe it's not, you know, impossible that we will be out of fuel. Like, I mean, Formula One actually came up with like uh, racing. Same thing as a Formula One racing, you know? Yeah. But uh, it's uh, electrical cars. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, and there's, there's a complete and there's, electric league. Yeah, 100% oh. electric. But I mean, uh, Big Al, I don't know if you ever uh, watched it. The sound of the engines, it's so quiet, man. I'm like, bro, that's huh. the whole perspective of watching a race. That's so huh? crazy. Huh. Uh, imagine, like, my, my big thing is just the, the, the battery cells. Like... I live up north where it's like cold as hell in the winter. Like anything electric up here, like haha, ha, good joke, you know. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if we can keep our vehicle batteries rolling, I mean, I'm sure we can get something going. But Tesla's little truck there, that thing's pretty interesting. I don't like the look of it. I wouldn't buy the one, look, but yeah, yeah, the look is not a uh, not appealing at all to me. But that that's not the point. Like the the technology in it is the stuff I'm interested. If you could find. Yeah. A, a, if they can find a technology that the electric is good, it, everybody will be able to shape it to make it look like whatever people want, right? So it won't matter about that. It's just getting the actual technology that works well. And it's getting there. Like I said, man, five years. He's just about years. plummeted there, yeah. He's driving his lifted truck in an inappropriate speed. Loop. It's getting there. They're getting better and better. Yeah. No, it'll be, it'll be interesting. I'm all for they electric do. if it can uh, keep up with gas. Tesla came up, they, Tesla came up with like uh, roof towels. Oh yeah, what's that? Basically, it's basically it's, it's uh, you don't need electricity in your house. It just the towels uh, heat your uh, your whole house plus give you electricity. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Like, yeah, and they last like 60 years or something like that. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, switch it up, man. Tesla roof towels. Yeah, they're definitely the forefront. Although with this, uh, with the coronavirus BS going on, the uh, all those plants that were making all the Tesla vehicles got shut down, so their stock dropped like a mad show. 
Oh, I follow I, I follow a couple things on Reddit about these uh, stock market guys, and they're just like going crazy about it not working. Wow, man! So a virus actually is. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the news. The media is not really reporting it a whole lot, probably because they don't want to freak people out. But it's getting really bad. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Have you seen the movie Contagion? No. Yeah, yeah. It's basically that it's is what's really happening. It's just thing. not yet, but it's coming. Like South yeah. Korea, um, they reported thirty cases beginning of this week, and now it's like five, four hundred or something. Like that's crazy. That's fast spread on a virus for sure. Hey Jordan, we talked about him. He showed up. Who's that? Delta. Oh no. Oh no, man. Hide your wife. Hide your and we're just gonna end the whole series here. Just kidding. We actually are at the end of this episode, though, not to freak Delta out, but we still have one more that you can join us on, though. Get in the. Get in it. Okay, I'm gonna park this here.